now comes to the valedictory um, speech by the Right Honourable Jacinda Ardern. Mr Speaker, when it came time to pen these words, my father suggested that I go back and look at the first ones I shared in this House. I remember writing my maiden speech so well. I was 28 years old. My family were living overseas and I'd only moved back to New Zealand a few months prior. If I'm honest, I was probably more than a little shocked to be here. A feeling that even after 15 years never quite left me. But the reasons I came here, they never left me either. They're all there in my maiden speech. Climate change, child poverty, inequality. I am, after all, a conviction-based politician. And I've always believed this to be a place where you can make a difference. There is politics in almost everything. This chamber understands why more than anyone. But we also know when and how to remove it. When crisis has landed in front of us, I have seen the best of this place. An absolute focus on the care of others, on preserving life and helping people when they need it most. Climate change is a crisis. It is upon us. And so one of the very few things I will ask of this House on my departure is that you please take the politics out of climate change. There will always be policy differences, but beneath that we have what we need to make the progress we must. We have not just a credible, but an empty. Now I cannot determine what will define my time in this place, but I do hope I've demonstrated something else entirely, that you can be anxious, sensitive, kind, and wear your heart on your sleeve. You can be a mother or not. You can be an ex-Mormon or not. You can be a nerd, a crier, a hugger. You can be all of these things. And not only can you be here, you can lead just like me. Nor data, tina koto, tina koto, tina koto Oh, no.